A team of researchers at the University of Winnipeg is breaking records in the world of physics. The research involves neutrons and could help us understand how our universe began. Joining us now to tell us more about this project is University of Winnipeg Professor of Physics, Jeff Martin. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Now, yeah, congratulations. This is huge. Thanks, it is huge, yeah. Because you broke a Canadian record with this discovery, right? Yes, well, it's our record. So, yeah, we broke our own record, yeah. Okay, so. so we, ha we were the record holders already. Well, that we is did even better. So exciting and so cool, yeah. involving many Winnipeg students in, as part of this uh, project. Absolutely, yes. So, we, we've had four students from the University of Winnipeg that have been, been involved in this research, uh, traveling out to Vancouver, where the neutron source is that we made and learning to operate it and the way that uh, students from from Winnipeg can get involved in this research is to enroll in a physics class at the University of Winnipeg that's how I started in my career and then I got to where I am today okay so, so let's limp, simplify it for our audience what yeah. is a neutron and what is it you're studying so a neutron is a basic constituent of matter it's in every atom and everything all around us. The couch, the table, <laughs> the, everything. All of them have neutrons in the nucleus of the atoms inside the, the matter. And what we do is we take the neutrons out of the nucleus. They then become free neutrons. Uh, but they're really hot when we take them out. And so we need to cool them down using a very fancy kind of refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then when they're that cold, we can put them inside a bottle and trap them there and then study their properties really, really precisely. And so what is the experiment that you did that is breaking records? So the one, the one that we did was just to make a lot of neutrons. So we can now put in a bottle lots and lots of neutrons, more than we ever could before. And the reason that's important is we want to study their properties. The experiment we want to do ultimately with them is to measure something about antimatter. Antimatter is just like matter, there's another type of matter that's called antimatter and whenever in the laboratory we create antimatter we always create an equal amount of antimatter and matter and uh, we think that in the early universe there were equal parts an antimatter and matter back in the early times in the universe mm -hmm. but nowadays when we look around we don't see any antimatter we just see regular matter we don't know why hmm. so how we got from equal parts matter and antimatter to no antimatter is a big mystery of physics, and that's what we're trying to discover, and our experiments on neutrons could one day lead to uh, an answer to that. So you broke your own Canadian record. Now we you're did. looking at potentially breaking a world record. We are poised to break the world record, so we have an, one final upgrade this year that we're trying to make. We should be able to boost the number of ultra-cold neutrons that we make by a factor of 50, which would put us way ahead of the game like orders of magnitude higher than everybody else in the rest of the world. So that's a really exciting prospect. We should be able to measure neutron properties more precisely than anyone in the world. Our competitors are in Switzerland, the US, uh, France, and so we're now going to be the big players in the game. So once you have this information, this could uh, help not only discover more information about how our universe was created, but you're talking it could help in medicine as well. Yeah, so we a lot of the technologies that we develop, so we always have to make new technologies to, in order to do the experiment. We have to do something that's almost impossible, and in order to do that, we ne always need to develop new things in order to make progress, and often those new things are really useful for other purposes. Mm -hmm. One example is I have a student, Wolfgang Claussen, who works on magnetometers. So these are magnetic field measuring devices. And his magnetometers are sensitive enough that you can stick them up to, your, to someone's head and they'll be able to read the brain waves that someone, of just someone thinking. So wow. they'll see the magnetic field generated by the neurons firing in your brain. Very exciting. Well, congratulations to you and your students. It's very exciting that it's happening right here in our province Thanks and our much. city. Thank you. Yeah.